السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. This is a grateful revision for the half of the second term, 2024. In this revision, inshallah, we're going to work together to answer the, the whole questions correctly and make it clear for, for everyone. So please keep focus and active. Let's get started with the first page of this revision. So here we start with the language functions, read and match, with read and match. So as you know, before we match anything in this question, we have to read the questions and the answers well. So let's re read them in a hurry and then answer the questions together. Okay, that's fine. Let's answer the questions now. The first one, where do you live? Okay, I live in Qatar. That's the correct answer here. Number two, what time do you get up? I get up at five o'clock. That's right. So number two takes A, letter A. Number three, which animal lives in the desert? Which animal lives in the desert? Of course, it's the camel. So we have to match this to letter B. Number four and the last one. Are you going to be a doctor in the future? Yes, I am. So these are the correct answers here. Well done, everyone. So let's move on to the next question. It's clear this first. Okay. And... Keep going. The second question is the same, read and match. So question number one, but before we answer the questions, you have to read the questions and answers correctly and well. So you have five minutes, sorry, uh, you have 15 seconds to read them. Then we're gonna answer together. Okay, question number one, who's catted this? Who's catted this? Yes, that's right, it's mine. This is the correct answer. Number two, what was the weather like? What was the weather like? It was windy. So this asks about the weather and this is the correct answer. Number three, where were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? At the park. I was at the park. That's the correct answer. Number four. Was Rima at the supermarket? Was Rima at the supermarket? Yes, she was. That's right. This is the correct answer. Let's move on to the second part of this revision. Clear first. Then move. Here we have the reading comprehension question. For this types of questions, you have to, to skim the passages first. And skimming here means to read it silently and quickly. So just to get the main idea of the passage, and then you're gonna scan after reading the questions. So skim for the first time, read the questions next, and the last step is to go back again to scan the passage, which re which means intensive reading or to read it for details to answer the whole questions. So now I'll give you uh, five seconds again. Just have a look to know what is the main idea of this passage. Excellent. And then... We're going to read the questions together before scanning, before reading for details. What's the text mainly about? Library rules, garden rules, home rules, or parking rules? And how does Hamad go to the library on foot, by car, by bike, or by plane? Third question. Why does Hamad listen to his teacher? Mm -hmm. We're going to see this together. 
what does Hamid have to do before leaving the library? So these were the four questions. Let's get started. Dear Rick, how are you, my dear friend? I hope you are doing well. I am writing to tell you about to tell you to, about my trip to the National Library of Qatar. There are some rules we have to follow there. I have to be on time, so I go early by car. I have to get ready and prepare a paper and a pencil to write some notes about things there. I have to listen to my teacher because he gives us information about the library. After we finish, we have to leave the place clean and tidy. Tell me about your next trip. Right back soon, Hamid. So what's the, the, the correct answer for this question, guys? Let's read them. What's the text me about? Library rules, yes, that's the correct answer. So here, we're going to make a circle. It talks about library rules. Number two, how does Hamad go to the library? On foot, by car, or by bike? The correct answer is by car. By car. Yes, it's by car. Why, teacher? Because if you go back here, you'll find it on the pass in the passage. So, huh? There are some rules I have to follow there, and I go by car. I go early by car. Let's move on to the third question. Why does Hamid listen to his teacher? Yes, that's right. Excellent, because the give him information. Because he gives students information. That's right. So this is the correct answer. He gives students, the teacher gives students useful information. Question number four. What does Hamad have to do before leaving the library? Excellent, that's right. Keep it clean and tidy. Clean or keep it clean and tidy. Okay. So that's the correct answer here for this question. Well done. Let's move on to the next passage. So let's clear this first. Okay. It's the same way here. Read, then question, then go back and scan. So let's keep going. What's the mainly text about? Or what's the text mainly about? A special day driving rules, Hamid has rules, or Hamid's favorite season. Number two. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to go in the morning? Where are they going to go in the morning? Park, book fair, restaurant, sports center. And what are they doing? What are they going to do in the afternoon? Last question. Why are they going to have dinner? Where? Sorry. Where are they going to have dinner? Let's start reading. So, dear Ali, I'm so happy this Friday is going to be a special day for me and my family. In the morning, we are going to visit the book fair. Then, my sister and I are going to fly kites in the park with our father. In the afternoon, my younger brother and I are going to read a story. We like reading books together. In the evening, we are going to have dinner in a big restaurant. We're also going to go to the cinema to watch a new film. It's going to be fun. Hamad. So who wrote this Hamad to his friend Ali? Let's answer the question now. Question number one. What's the text mainly about? Well done, guys. A special day. That's right. So that is the first question. Let's move on to the next yeah, yes. 
Where are they going to go in the morning? Where are they going to go in the morning? Park, book fair, restaurant, sports center. If you didn't know, if you didn't remember, you can go back here again. You'll find them in the first line. Special day in the morning, we're going to visit a book fair. So that's the place where they are going to visit in the morning. Where again? Okay, let's go back one more time. We said you'll find it in the morning here. In the, in the morning, we are going to visit the book fair. Clear now, guys? Well done. So here, that's the correct answer. It's going to be the book fair. Okay, let's move on to question number three. What do we have here? What are they going to do in the afternoon? What are they going to do in the afternoon? Read books? Yes, that's right. Why, teacher? Because they said in the afternoon, me, my younger brother, and I are going to read a story. So, reading stories. That's the correct answer. Let's keep writing here. Read. Stories. Well done. So let's put it here. And now this was the third question. Let's keep going. Okay. Yeah, this is number four. Where are they going to have dinner? Yes, that's right. At a big restaurant. So that is the correct answer. At... A big restaurant. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the next part of the revision. Here, the next question or the next kind of question is fill in the gaps. You have three words in the box. Then you have three questions. The first question says, Many kinds of fish are living in there. Yes, that's right, in the ocean. So that's the first word. That's the first answer here will be ocean. It's the huge and the massive amount of, of water. And it's bigger than the sea. I found some space in the, at the beach. I found something in the space at the beach. In the sand. Well done. So that's the correct answer. And of course, the last question will be, there are a lot of plastic plates in the kitchen. So it will be plastic. Okay. Now let's keep going to the next kind of questions. It's the same kind of question, fill in the gaps. Yeah. Can you me carry the bags, please? Well done. Help. So help is the correct answer. Number two. Sarah is space because she studied a lot. Sarah is tired. Yes, that's right. Sarah is tired. Number three. Can you turn on the space, please? Can you turn on the light? Yeah, that's right. Can you turn on the light, please? Well done. Here, yeah, we move to the next part of questions. Phonics, read and choose the correct answer. Which word had the same middle sound as in short? Same middle sound, it means to look at this here. This is the middle sound. So what's the correct answer here? Of course, fork like short. So both of them have the same middle sound. Okay, let's move on. Number two, which word had the same ending sound as in chair? Which word had the same ending sound as in chair? Yeah, that's right. Huh? Ending sound, pair. Why, teacher? Because we are searching about, we're looking for these sounds the last one 
So pair and pair are the same ending sound. Yeah. Question number three. Which word doesn't belong? Look, old, book, cook. Which word doesn't belong? Look, old, book, cook. Of course, it's the word old. This is the odd word, or this is the word that doesn't belong. Well done, guys. Here, we move to the grammar section. Read and choose the correct answer. I didn't know more space at the supermarket last week. Ali and Omar space at the supermarket last last week. So what's the correct answer here? Huh? Yes, where? Why teacher? Because this is past last week. And Ali and Omar are plural, not singular. So I have to choose where here. Number two. Today space is here. No one is at absent. That's right, everyone is here. Because the next sentence says, no one is absent. So today, everyone is here, no one is absent. Well done, guys. The third question says, My mother is cleaning, let's help Huh? Yes, that's right, let's help her. Why teacher? Because the mother is a female. And for females, for singular females, we choose her as an object pronoun. So that's the correct word. Do as shown between brackets. You will find the underlined word is wrong. It's not correct. This is not correct. So we're going to correct them. It's like correction question. Find or look at the, the wrong, the the incorrect word, then write it correctly. So I am at the sports center yesterday. How can I say yesterday and am at the same time? No teacher. So the correct answer here is was. Was, yes. Why? Because I said before that this is yesterday. It's past. It's past and this is I. I here is singular. So I was at the sports center yesterday. Number two, Ali is at the park yesterday. It's the same. It was. Why? Because we have yesterday and Ali is singular. Ali is singular. Then we have question number three. Heba is at the school yesterday. Heba is at the school yesterday. Yesterday and Heba is singular. So the correct answer is was Heba was at the sports center. Uh, Heba was at a school yesterday. Majid is at the sports center yesterday. Of course, it's the same thing. Let's move on to the next kind of question. Write a paragraph of five sentences about how to make your favorite drink, tea or juice. So it's well, it's just uh, five sentences. So about your favorite tea, uh, your favorite drink, tea or juice. So for me, I'll choose tea because most of people like to drink tea here and all over and all over the world. So let's keep writing. So, I love tea because hmm, what can give me additional sentences, ideas? Because it's tasty. Well done. Because I love tea. It is tasty. Mm -hmm. Well done. What else? I love tea, it's tasty. How can you drink tea? How can you, you prepare and make tea? He said, I love tea, it's tasty. Huh. What are the steps? Excellent. First, we boil, yes, water, well done. 
टेन ओके वी एड टी एंड शुगर वेल डन टी एंड शुगर वेल डन गाइस so i left the first sentence let's taste the second sentence first we we boil water third one then we add tea and sugar this is the third the fourth uh, sentence and what's the fifth one you say you spoil and enjoy then you spoil water will fill the cup and enjoy Okay, finally, we spoil or fill the cup and enjoy. Enjoy your drink. Well done. guys so here we have five sentences these five sentences are more than enough for this paragraph so they are right here to write things about like this let's move on to the next part of writing so how can you make your favorite food how can you make your favorite food Let's keep writing. Here you can simply say, "I love salad." I love salad. Okay, how can we make salad? Let's see together. First, okay, chop vegetables. Okay. Or wash. Excellent. So the first one will be wash the vegetables. Okay. And then. Mm -hmm. Chop them. Okay. First, wash vegetables. Then chop them. Third, or next, uh huh. You can say third here. Hmm. Mix them together. Okay. Together. Okay, and what's the last thing? Third, mix them together, and the last thing, or finally, of course, will be enjoy your dish. Enjoy, enjoy your dish. So these are the most sort of words for this. paragraph and it's uh, more than enough if you wrote these sentences here okay so i hope you find it easy and uh, you enjoyed today's um video and see you next videos inshallah thank you and goodbye